All right, well, I thought I'd do a side-by-side -side comparison of two different generators. The green one on the left is the one that I bought for myself. The orange one on the right is the one I bought for my parents. So I've done a test on both of them. Both of them powered my three refrigerators and two freezers with no problem. So I just thought I'd uh, do a side-by-side -side comparison of what each one has versus the other ones. So again, this one's mine. This is a Duramax 4850. It's an XP 4850 EH. And this is the adapter that I bought. This is not included, but it's a four plug uh, adapter. So you can hook up to a total of six um, AC, you know, outlets, you know, or you'll have six AC outlets available for plugging up your appliances. Um, very similar to what uh, the other one has. This one has a push button start versus the key on the on the wind generator. This is the Win 4750. Here's your key. Neat feature about this one, it's got the 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter. Mine does not. And again, this one's a, another adapter that I bought separately um, from Amazon. Both of these came from Amazon. And so again, you have the capability for powering six appliances. So, again, both of them run on propane. So I've got the propane connections hooked up on both of them. Real easy to connect up to. It supplies you with the hose needed and the connection. And then, of course, the connection that you need for your propane tank. Both of them have four gallon gas tanks. I haven't put any gas in either of them, so just going by other reviews, you know, they seem to work pretty well with uh, gasoline, uh, approximately 8 to 10 hours, sometimes 11, I guess it depends on the load that it's powering. Both of them have 12 volt batteries that are disconnected when they come in. Uh, the win came with the oil that you need, the Duramax did not. This actually is less than a quart. It's basically almost the exact amount that you need to put oil in the wind generator. Um, you know, I didn't put everything, I didn't put it all in because it looked like it was going to overflow. So, uh, another difference, the wheel axle. Like my generator, the wheel axle was missing when I bought it. So I had to request a new one. It took about a week, week and a half for it to arrive because I couldn't even put it on wheels um, until that came in. This generator uses bolts that run into the frame and connect together with cotter pins. So that was pretty easy. All the accessories were pretty much there for this one. Both of them were received damaged. Um, this one's got damage on the piping here. You see it's a little bit bent and kind of got into the um, air filter box a little bit, but still usable. But yeah, there's a dent here where this looks like it got punched in a little bit. There's heavy abrasions on the side there. Even the handle, which I put on afterwards, had some damage. The muffler guard was dented in along with the... Uh, vacuum, I guess this is like a vacuum tank. On my generator, similar setup, the muffler guard got damaged, actually hit enough where it put a dent in my muffler. Again, doesn't affect the functionality. Um, this was slightly dented in, but again, not a big deal. Um, slight dent in the wheel, but these are solid rubber, so not like it's going to go flat or anything. Um, Again, my adapter that I bought, the four plug adapter, is 25 foot extension. I bought that just for me because of I've got two buildings to power should I run into an issue that I need to extend it out a little bit. 
uh, parents place they don't really have anything like that but they do just need the adapter to hook up their uh, well pump they've got two freezers and a big refrigerator and then of course two other receptacles for uh, plug it up whatever plus the 12 volt for their laptops or cell phones uh, again propane option love that option on these they both have a switch for gasoline or propane I've already got a switch to propane mine is the same way but it's got a switch on the side yeah on and off for the fuel valve um, <clears throat> so yeah this one was pretty much already set to go with propane the 120 to 240 volt switch you know it's got uh, both of them have the same option mine has a 50 amp breaker on it a dual pole breaker the Wen 4750 just has the push button style for resetting them in case they trip uh, same with the DC the 12 volt DC breaker um, think of anything else here uh, both pretty easy you know to maneuver mine comes with a dual handle setup which are set up on the you know basically the hot side of the generator where the muffler is and all that where the handle for the wind generator is on the cool side away from the exhaust uh, where there's any heat so it's a different feature um, both of them have pull, pull start options if you need it in case the starter switch or whatever goes bad. My Duramax has the same thing there. Both of them have the overhead valve. Basically very similar engines. The Wynn is a 224cc overhead valve engine. The Duramax is a 212cc 7 horsepower. So, again, they're very similar in setup and design. So, that's pretty much all I can think of in the comparison between both generators. Again, the green one is for myself, you know, for, for my use, and I bought this one for my parents since they don't have one, and they've had more frequent power outages than I have. So, there you go. Hope that helps you if you're deciding on getting your own portable generator. Till next time, adios.